Today is a special day, and we kind of talked about this last year. We got invited to it, and again this year, we are actually at the inductees of the Sturgis Motorcycle Museum. They actually have a breakfast up here once a year during the rally. It's usually like on either Tuesday or Wednesday they have it. And it's all about inducting people, famous people. You know, if you're in the motorcycle community, consider these famous people and all kinds of different people you get to meet and you know it's kind of like the who's who of the motorcycle <laughs> industry yep. and uh, so it's kind of special let's go inside and check it all out let's go see and we're up here in Deadwood at the Lodge Deadwood Lodge at Deadwood I always thought it was the Deadwood Lodge but I guess it's not Sure. Hi, Bob and Tam. This is Robert Patrick. Remember, when you're riding, ride fast and take chances. <laughs> Have you been you enjoying yourself out here in the hills? I just got here last night. I'm avoiding lightning. <laughs> All right. Harley Davidson to Santa Clarita. Hey, I'm at the Builders Breakfast, and we have some two legends in the house. Uh, David Yule, the artist, my God, I am a groupie to David Yule. And if you don't know who David Yule is, Google UHL and look at his artwork. He is the Michelangelo of the motorcycle world. Also, Mr. Pete and Jackie Hill. It's Pete Hill, but his wife Jackie is every bit a part of Pete Hill. He's over 90 years old. He's the knuckle master. He raced in Bonneville with me. I mean, there's just so many special, and the whole industry's here. Those are the people that I'm really excited to see get inducted into the Hall of Fame, but everybody from the industry's here and the vibe is high. It's so cool.
exactly nailed that. I'm so strong and powerful, I literally just broke your microphone. I'm kidding. Well, thank you so much. You, you exactly expressed how I feel about South Dakota. This is a state that wraps its arm around people and loves people, and we are just one big family. I am so incredibly blessed to be the governor of this great state, and I think most of you have probably heard about me before, even if you're not from South Dakota. And to be honest, probably the first time you heard my name was when the liberals on the media were kicking me in the head every single day for the decisions we were making here in South Dakota during COVID in 2020, to be honest, right? Elizabeth Warren and Rachel Maddow every night on the national news were, were attacking me, telling me I was making dangerous decisions, that, that I was reckless by allowing people to keep their businesses open and people to make the best decisions for their families. Um, for all of you that come here every single year and enjoy the Sturgis Motorcycle Bike Rally, and you're a part of the way of life that we enjoy here in South Dakota, I just want you to know that here in South Dakota, we believe in the Constitution. We believe in the rights that were given. The rights that were given in that document, but that our rights are also endowed by our Creator to us as individuals. That people have a personal responsibility to make the best decisions for their families. And that's what we walk out every single day. Our state motto in South Dakota is under God the people rule. And I'm reminded every single day when I reflect on it that that it is not my job to make people's decisions for them. There's a very strict guideline on what government should do in people's lives and what government shouldn't do in people's lives. And I'm just so inspired by all of you and the way that you continue to wrap your arms around freedom and liberty and you walk it out and you're an example to this nation of what we all should be like from all corners, from north to south, east to west. I wish everybody had the heart of those of you who make uh, riding motorcycles and, and being on the road, uh, a way of life, and it's a spirit that I hope all of America can remember, can remember again. My background is I grew up raised on a ranch here in South Dakota by a dad who was a cowboy. And he was a crazy guy. Uh, in fact, he said all the time, you know, we don't complain about things, we fix them. And he was very matter of fact. In fact, the way that he woke us up in the morning, all of us kids, is he'd yell up the stairs, get up! More people die in bed than anywhere else. <laughs> and I remember being a little girl thinking, is that true? I probably is. And we got up and got to work and did anything that we could. My dad loved motorcycles. Uh, in fact, he raised all of us kids on motorcycles and dirt bikes. And we spent the whole week working cows and, and working the land and tractors and horses. But on Sundays, we're for motorcycles and dirt bikes. So we checked cows on them. We spent the day playing with them. I had a brother who dreamed of being evil Knievel. And I dreamed of always being better than he was. So we had a lot of wrecks and wrecked a lot of bikes, but it was a lot of fun and a great way to grow up. And so it is so fun for me to come and spend time with you during this rally every single year. For me, it feels like detox. If you look at politics and everything that's going on in the world today, spending time with you reminds me of what, what this is all about. I tell people almost every speech that I give that in this world, people will tell you you're your success in life is going to be based on your education, or it'll be based on what family you belong to, or about how hard you work. I just am not a believer of all of that. What I think the number one thing that impacts your success in life and where you go in life is relationships. Relationships that you have and people that you spend time with will be a game changer for what your future is. And I think you understand that better than anybody else. The fact that you come back every single year and have a reunion with people that you dearly love, friends, family, people that you only met here and you get to see them once a year, that those individuals you meet might be your lifelong best friends, they might be your next business partners, your next mentor, but those relationships will change your life. I hope we never lose sight of that in this country, that we are called to love each other that we get so offended by each other, we quit talking to people, don't we? Don't you have that? You've run into people, I can't believe they said that. I can't believe they, oh my gosh, I can't believe they said that, and we blow a gasket and quit talking to people. I'm gonna ask you to do the exact opposite thing in this world. 
is to keep talking to people, keep listening, and keep building those relationships, because that's really how we remember to keep America as strong as it's always been and to keep it protected for our kids and our grandkids. My husband Brian and I, we have three kids. The two girls are married and we have three little grandkids that are just perfect. They're all under the age of three. And they are absolutely the reason why I do what I do every single day. Um, it gives me a purpose for continuing to get up and to do what we can do. But today I get the opportunity to talk about someone that I met several years ago that changed my life. Uh, he was someone that I did not know probably four years ago, but he came to me uh, through a couple people on my staff, and it is David Ewell, who painted a painting and asked if he could donate it to the state of South Dakota and do it uh, in a way that benefited something that I might be passionate about. Um, I started talking with him, and I was so impressed with his heart and with his story and with beautiful Elizabeth by his side and how he was one of the most kindest persons that, that I had ever met before and that he just wanted to bless people with the gift that God had given him. The picture that he painted was of my horse and I at our Buffalo Roundup. I don't know if you've seen it, it's called True Grit. But the way that he displayed my horse took my breath away because the horse that I'm riding in that painting is Iceman and I love him dearly. And immediately when I saw the painting, I'd never seen anybody that had, had painted a horse so beautifully and exactly like that horse looks. And I'm talking to David, I've just become so enamored with his spirit, his discernment, and the heart that he has for people and the heart that he has to give to other people and to help people um, that he doesn't necessarily have to, that he steps up each and every time. I remember that first year when he donated a, a painting, we raised over $100,000 off one painting for a conservation project that I was passionate about here in South Dakota. He's donated his paintings here at the rally to benefit those who are suffering from human trafficking or wrapped up in it. He's done it to many different nonprofits and organizations that are out there. I don't know if there's anybody who wakes up every single day more passionate about blessing other people with the gift that he's been given and how he can do that. So today, I get the opportunity to bring David up here. And because I'm governor, I get to do what I want to do. I don't know if you guys know that, but it's my, I'm, I'm the boss for a little bit here. So David, come on up here. He is being inducted into the Hall of Fame. being inducted into the Hall of Fame is a really big deal. Um, David does not seek fame. I think he's probably one of the most humblest people that I know. <laughs> I know he's dreading being up here. But I, I listened to somebody recently speak about how we honor people. And the way that you truly honor people, many times people talk about giving big speeches about them or about you know giving them trophies or plaques or recognition. But the real way that you honor someone is that you spend time with them. You spend time with them, and then you listen to them. And David has shared more wisdom with me through text messages, phone calls, and spending time with our family than almost anybody else I can, I can think of the last couple of years. He's been willing to spend time with me and to listen and to give, have conversations and made me think about things in a different way than anybody else I think in my life in recent years. So it's my honor to not only be able to introduce him as he's a recipient of being inducted into the Hall of Fame, I also have decided to do a state proclamation in his honor that talks about him. And I'm going to read this proclamation because today, August 7th, 2024, is now going to be known as David Ewell Day in the entire state of South Dakota. So let me read. Proclamation. State of South Dakota Office of the Governor. Whereas, David Ewell was born in Toledo, Ohio on September 20th, 1961. 
And whereas David purchased his first motorcycle in 1988 and had a passion for motorcycling ever since. Since 1993, he's produced countless best-selling pieces of art that have been featured on apparel and Harley Davidson. And whereas David began producing oil paintings in 1998, becoming the first ever licensed oil painter for the Harley Davidson Motor Company. And whereas David's artwork has been auctioned off in support of charitable causes, including his True Grit painting of Governor Nome at the Buffalo Roundup, which has gone to benefit both victims of human trafficking and the pheasant habitat in South Dakota. And whereas David's painting, Chance Encounter, was even presented to Pope Francis and the Vatican. And whereas David's timeless style will allow the legacy of his artwork to live on for years and years. And whereas it is fitting and proper as governor to make note of David's incredible achievements, which has helped promote the state of South Dakota and the Sturgis Motorcycle Rally. Now therefore I, Christy Nome, governor of the state of South Dakota, do hereby proclaim August 7th, 2024, as David Ewell Day in the state of South Dakota. Congratulations. <laughs> Those of you that serve in the military know what challenge coins are. Leaders give them to each other in honor and respect. This is the challenge coin from the governor's office that has the state flag and the American flag on it. It has our state motto on it, under God the people rule. On the other side of it, it has Mount Rushmore, of course, with, of course, fireworks going off over Mount Rushmore. We'll get them back as soon as we get a better president. But I'm going to gift that to you, sir. So pretty special. Uh, pretty much this video is probably going to be only just on this. Uh, I didn't film everything this year because uh, it kind of starts at 9 o'clock and drags on. Well, starts at 9 o'clock and goes all the way till about 11 o'clock. So there'll be a lot of video for you guys to have to watch and things like that. So just kind of hit some key points. Uh, they have some video slides that we want to give a shout out to the museum for letting us use all that great content that they gave us or that they were using presenting in the case but I mean it's pretty cool uh, if you get a chance to come you know it is a little pricey I think this year was about $300 per plate to come in but I mean all the money goes to the museum and what we found out while we were here is looks like they're going to be building a brand new museum real soon and uh, cool. we'll get some information on that and we'll kind of tell you a little bit about where they're going to be building it at and where it's you know kind of things like that because definitely got to be in Sturgis because it's the Sturgis Museum that's right so with that, we'll leave you right here in Deadwood. Thanks for hanging out with us today. Hope you enjoyed the video. And congratulations to all those that got inducted into the Hall of Fame for the Sturgis Museum. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Share us with your family and friends. Give us a big thumbs up. Ring that bell for notifications. And we'll see you on the next video. Oh yeah, did you catch it out? The governor was here again today. We got to see her twice. Yep. Have you ever felt the hair on your arm stand up just cause she says what's up? Have you ever felt the world is yours to take? Like the world is an open road, your life a great story yet untold. Like the future is nothing but what you make. Well, I do. Yes, I do. Make me feel
me feel like the world is an open road that my life is the greatest story told and that the future is nothing but what you made you make me feel